Hi, y'all. Happy Sunday. Good morning to you. Um, it's a little early here, not too early. It's about 1030. Um, I uh, wanted to uh, share uh, about a week or so ago, or in one of the last couple videos, I had mentioned that I was going to have some news for y'all. And I also uh, wanted to talk about a rack that uh, is involved and um, give some shout outs uh, for Happy Meal uh, to a couple people. Um, you, you may notice uh, that my Kindle is sitting right here, so I'm not recording on it. And I'm not recording on my phone either. <laughs> um, that's part of the news that I have um, that I knew was I knew was coming. Um, so you guys are now up there, and I don't know uh, if you can tell by the camera angle. Um, it, it I I think it's much better. And uh, but there's a story, a funny story that goes along with that. Yesterday was a very adventurous day for me, um, but. Uh, I, I, I'll get to that in a minute, and then uh, I'll get to the happy mail and some other things I wanted to share with you. Um, but the, the news is that I now have a regular camera, and I also can try to edit videos. Um, I still need to teach myself how to do that. Uh, I have it set up on my computer. Now, my computer is a little... Well, it's a lot old. It's it's quite a few years old. It's from 2007, I believe. So it's about eight years old. It's it's hanging in there. So I'm hoping it'll hang in there for a couple more months because I absolutely cannot afford a laptop right now. Um, <clears throat> so with that, uh, the rack was involved in you guys being up there and me having better video and able to. Uh, record some quality stuff. Um, the random act of kindness was, uh, it, it came about, I was uh, on a Ustream uh, watching one of, one of the wonderful artists that we follow and I was getting some information. I've been gathering information on different types of cameras because I knew, had mentioned that, you know, as you all know, in, in, a, in a couple months or so I was hoping to get a new camera. So, in speaking to this lovely, wonderful woman, um, you know, about the different type of cameras, because she just got a new one. So, I was asking her, you know, uh, about the one she just got and her old one and just getting some information. And she randomly acted out of kindness and offered to send me her old camera. And, um, I got to say, the art community um, that I have uh, now am involved with and have encountered here on YouTube is just absolutely fantastic and wonderful. And um, with that, it made me cry. And when I got the package yesterday, I cried. Um, and one of the happy mails that I got made me cry. And it's all good stuff, you know. But... Uh, I definitely want to give a shout out to to all you fantastic women and, and some men out there that are uh, I'm, I'm now involved with in this in this mixed media art community. I am very honored to be a part and among you guys. And um, the woman that gifted me her camera, you know who you are. And I don't know if you want your name mentioned or not, so I'm not gonna at this point in time. So if you're watching. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, and I'll, I'll never uh, forget that. Um, however, <laughs> um, now we get into the interesting story and adventure of yesterday. So I received the camera package. I, I knew what was in it, but I received the package and immediately... Um, ran out to Walmart to get a, a tripod that I thought I would use uh, to set it up here in front of me. And so I, I went and I ran to Walmart, got the tripod and came back home, opened up the camera box or the box package, went to hook it up on my computer and lo and behold, 
the camera works, but it doesn't work with my old computer system. I have uh, Windows Vista or Windows and this camera that she sent me, it's a Logitech, but this uh, model only works with um, Mac or Apple iPads or iPods, uh, which I don't have. <laughs> So now what am I going to do? I have a camera that was gifted to me and I have a very old computer. Um, so, you know, I'm again, I'm, I'm, you know, this, this took a few hours. Uh, well, the, the whole running to Walmart the first time around and getting back and trying to get it set up and everything. And then finding that out, that took about an hour or so. So here I am. I have a camera I can't use and I'm, I'm, kind of, I'm not aggravated yet at this point, but I'm like, well, crap, <laughs> you know? Um, so I'm on another use stream with, you know, the wonderful people that I uh, interact with. I'm watching some of the art and we're all talking and they're all, they're all coming along the ride with me for yesterday. Uh, again, it was very adventurous. Um, so I got to talking to one of them. And um, the one that was streaming yesterday told me the type of camera she got. And she said, well, I only paid like $20 for it at Walmart. All right. So, okay, you know what? I can break down and I, you know, I really couldn't afford it. Um, but you know what? I'm going to, you know, I'm going to go out and get me a $20 camera right now. I looked up at the Walmarts that are around me and one um, supposedly had it. Now it's an older model um, so they're, you know, not too expensive, 20 bucks or so, whatever. So uh, here I am again. I get ready and I go back out to Walmart, a different Walmart this time. And I get there and they don't have the camera. They do have a Logitech camera, which is you guys up there. Um, but it's a little more expensive than $20. And I'm like, well, what am I going to do? I, I love my Kindle, but it, it was really inconvenient to film on this and I couldn't do no editing. And uh, although it was a fast upload to YouTube, it just, it really just wasn't convenient to record on this. It, it was great and it worked well, but I really wanted to get on a regular camera. So I broke down and I spent a little more than the $20 for uh, a, a little Logitech camera that, um, is now set up there. So I come back home after my second trip to Walmart and well, I have to rearrange my whole art room. So that took another few hours. So I never did get to streaming yesterday. I was going to attempt to do a little test stream for a little while um, because my friends were all there and ready to support me and that was great. But that, that was, that's my story. Um, but needless to say, um, I have, I think, what is a really good camera angle and it's convenient for me as long as my computer holds up <laughs> um, and I can record and I do have an editing program on my computer to help me edit. I don't know how to fast forward yet but I do know how to uh, I tested out how to link videos together so I'm going to do that and, and try to learn how to do the whole fast forwarding thing, but that might not work and we'll see how that goes. Um, but for the meantime, the little camera that I have, um, the, the picture's good, the, the quality is good. I got to figure out the lighting because you see here, I got a little bit of a glare here and I'm not sure how to figure that out. Now I do have another, I have a lamp here on my desk, but that doesn't help get rid of the glare and then it provides an extra one. So I'm still, uh, trying to work on the lighting um, and, and get rid of some of the, the glare that's going on right here because my light is also right up there and it's the only light I have in this room besides this little uh, desk lamp that I have. Um, so although I can brighten up the area around my filming, so all along here, um, it's brighter when I have my lamp on, I still have that glare here. So. I still may have to hold things up to the computer so you can uh, see it without the glare. And this is my current uh, camera.
focus item at the moment. Um, and it's kind of uh, shiny, so maybe I need to get something that's more of a matte finish. Uh, and maybe that might get rid of the glare. I don't know if y'all have any suggestions or um, whatnot. Um, that would be great. <laughs> Um, so I'm, I'm still working through a little bit of the kinks, but I, I think um, the video quality is going to be better. Uh, it's definitely, uh, you get more of an area and it's clearer, at least uh, that's what I'm, I've been experiencing since yesterday. <laughs> um, but I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. I'll have it on when I'm doing a project or whatnot. Um, so there's that. I now have a camera and I'm now ready to go. Um, and again, I, I cannot uh, boast enough about how honored I am and how happy I am to finally be a part of, of, of this community. Um, you know, I knew of YouTube, but I never went on to YouTube um, really all that much um, until last year when I came across um, Mixed Media. And there were two artists that I uh, initially followed. Uh, Sarah Evans from My Serenity Crafts and Patty Tilly Parrish were the first two um, artists that I followed. And these uh, women are great and fantastic. Um, oh, and now uh, with the new camera setup and program and all that, I can put links in my video, I hope. So um, I'm hoping to put some links down in the comments below. Uh, so be sure to look for that. Uh, finally, <laughs> as I've been trying to do since I started. Um, but yeah, the art community is just fantastic and wonderful. So I'm, I'm completely happy. Um, another news, um, as I kind of mentioned briefly in that long drawn out story I just told, um, I now have a Ustream channel and I'm going to put a link to it below. And I, I haven't put anything out yet, and I haven't obviously streamed yet, but I'm hoping to do a stream or two along the way. And there's, uh, if you go to uh, I Carry Love's blog, uh, she has a list of all the uh, people in, in our, in our uh, circle that, that stream. Uh, you have Dee Dee Willingham, you have Patty Tully Parrish, you have um, Jean, from the musical scrapper, um, and, and there's uh, Debbie Epps, and... Uh, quite a few more that that stream and there's uh, Carrie's blog lists the times and the links to their their um, their stream. So be sure to to go to uh, I Carrie Love's blog um, and check out the list and the schedule of those that stream. And uh, I'm not, I should be on there. I'm not sure when she's going to add me to the list. I, I did tweet, uh, and that's another thing. I have a Twitter now, which I've never used uh, up until uh, a week ago. <laughs> um, I, I still don't use it all that much, but uh, that's because I just set it up and I'm not quite used to it yet. And I don't know, you know, how often I'll, I'll tweet, but I'll definitely tweet when I go to stream or, or whatnot. And uh, I'm I'm Shauna Mewson on YouTube and I'm Shauna Mewson on Twitter. And uh, my Ustream channel is uh, Shauna's Craft Shack. That's Shauna, my first name, uh, apostrophe S, Craft Shack. Um, and again, I'll put the link down below and you guys can ch check that out. Uh, hopefully, uh, I'll be able to get a stream in maybe this week or, or whatnot. I don't want to uh, go against uh, anybody else's schedule. So it looks like um, I, I may be able to do mine on, on Saturday afternoons, possibly. Um, we'll see. I'll put a schedule up there once I know where I can fit mine in. Um, and then, um, so now I just uh, wanted to give out uh, some, uh, give some shout outs and share some happy mail uh, that I've received uh, and mentioned. So uh, the, the first one that I got the other day, I hope this, one, uh, this one is from Barb Owens and she streams on YouTube on Friday afternoons. So be sure to look up Barb Owens on YouTube and then you can uh, see when she, she streams. But this wonderful woman sent me, look at, look at this cute card. Isn't that just an adorable little teddy bear? Um, and she wrote in there and uh, 
but that's just so, so cute. And but she sent me all these wonderful goodies, all kinds of scrap paper that, that that's had, you know, these are stickers with, with art she's done and different papers. And uh, again, this is going to go towards me uh, creating the Happy Mail projects. Um, the ones where I create just using stuff that, that I've received in Happy Mail, with the exception of my own uh, paints and stuff. Oh, and then some, I mean, some of it's uh, cloth, and um, this is like uh, masking tape that she's painted, and um, just all kinds of different little goodies. So I, I'm going to be starting these um, um, Happy Mail creations uh, hopefully this week. I definitely want to get started on that. I, I uh, now have received Happy Mails it was this one and, and swaps. Some of the other ones were, were Happy Mails slash swaps. But, uh, you know, it's all the same to me. It's all Happy Mail. It's all wonderful stuff from, from you people out there. So, um, but again, I hope to get started on that this week. Um, get those going. I have also a couple other things. Um, in, in the planned, um, especially as I start you streaming, uh, hopefully. Now, I don't know how regular I'll you stream, it just again, it depends on the schedule. Um, but yeah, I've got a, a lot of things in the hopper, per se, I hope, uh, to share with you guys. Um, and then the next one is something that just really. Uh, again, this was not expected. This was, I didn't even uh, really know it was coming until it was mentioned to me that it was coming. Make sure there's no address there. Um, I was on... Uh, this is from Debbie Epps. Thank you, Debbie. I, I love it. Um, I was on her Ustream one day watching her stream, and she did this uh, turtle art. that, And I love turtles and butterflies. They're my favorite. And she was doing this canvas with a turtle. And we, we were all joking around in chat. And um, I was just, I was, you know, I just fell in love with it. It was just so, so cute. So the next stream that she did, which I wasn't able to be there live because uh, my phone was, uh, well, Ustream, rather, was having issues. Ustream has hiccups every once in a while. But we love it because it's free. Um, so, and she made me what she calls Raymond Jr. And when I got this, I cried. I teared up. I, I just love it. And it says Raymond Jr. And she says to man it on 11 by 14 or 8 by 10 opening. And it has her signature on it. And she, she put an S for my name. And, um. It, this is the turtle that she created. She created a, a stencil, and this is all painted work in through here. And I just, I just absolutely love this, and I think it's gorgeous. Again, turtles and butterflies just are. I also love ladybugs too. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I can't wait to put this in a frame and uh, put it up with the other stuff I've received. Um, and then she sent. Uh, Another uh, item I, of art that she created, and um, then she I scanned to her computer, and she wrote down here, it says, when a man loves a woman, and it's, a, it's got like an uh, art dollar or that stamped in there, and um, but then it's, it's printed on, on regular paper, so I can use that for collage. Um, jelly plating paper she sent, and then she sent... Um, a music paper, and I don't have any um, that I can think of. I'm not sure if I, I may have received um, something with music on it in one of the other Happy Meals, um, but I don't think I, I have any music paper, so I was really also excited to receive that. So, Debbie, thank you so much. I am I am just, I, you know, I, I love it. I, I love it. I absolutely love it, and I can't thank you enough. I think it, it's wonderful um, that you sent this to me, and uh, I'm, I'm really, really happy. Uh, so, again, thank you so, so much. Um, then the 
the last thing I want to talk about was, again, I, I mentioned some projects that are coming up, um, some shares that I'm going to be doing, uh, pages, uh, art pages and stuff. So, um, y'all know that I, I follow Lori Richardson Haley and, uh, she does just some really cute art and stuff. And another idea that I'm borrowing from her, thank you, Lori, um, if you're watching, um, is she takes calendars and she uses it for inspiration. Now, I went and I, I, I got a couple of them. I uh, am going to be doing um, kind of what she does. You know, she, she uses this as an inspiration to make a, a page down here. Um, and I think that's an awesome idea. And this one, uh, if you go to um, a bookstore like uh, Barnes and Nobles and, uh, or whatnot, anywhere pretty much that you can find calendars, um, this one starts in September of this year. So this one won't be won't have anything done in it until September. Um, but each each you know one, and you can find different ones. I love this one. It's called the Simple Life Calendar. Um, Bless Your Beautiful Heart by uh, Karen Good. And some of the art is in here is so, so cute. And, you know, I want to draw inspiration. I, I want to, you know, look at this and not create the same thing. But I, I, like Lori does, you know, you pull inspiration from it. You know, the colors uh, and um, maybe the style. And you kind of, you make your own thing, you know, down here. And, um, you know, so as we get through the month, so, you know, for this one, an example, so this is April of 2017. So, you know, once May comes around, so sometime in May, I'll do a page on here pulling inspiration from April. Um, cardboard, don't need that. Um, and so I just think that's an awesome idea. It's going to kind of help me um, have uh, some some go to inspirational places uh, or place, um, but in the meantime, I, I kind of wanted to start some of it. So I went to the dollar store and I found this uh, calendar, uh, 2016 12 month calendar, and it has some artwork in here from Claude Monet, Clint uh, Van Gogh, and Renoir. I don't know if I said his name right. Probably not. Y'all know I'm not really, I don't know if I told y'all I'm not really good with names. I'm great with numbers, not really good with names. Um, but again, now this calendar is a little bigger than I than I, than I wanted. So, um, and this this is one that I can play in uh, for now until we ha hit the September one, or you start using a small one, and I can go back and forth. But I, I think for the bigger one, again, I want to pull inspiration from what's up here but I'll do, do a little bit bigger pages, but I don't think I'll do the, the, the whole thing because it is quite large. So I think that I'll, I'll, I'll keep it kind of um, focused in um, without covering maybe the, the, the month up here or whatnot and just pull inspiration from here. So you all, you know, are having a, a block or um, not sure, you know, where to go. You're just starting now. Um, grab a calendar. It doesn't matter. Um, find one you like. Find one that's got, you know, images and color on it that you can pull inspiration from and you can create on here. Um, and then it becomes, you know, something you can look back on for, you know, and you know, you know when you did it, you know. I'm terrible about signing some of my pages. Um, trying to now remind myself uh, more to to finish uh, when I finish a page to sign it before I seal it but you know we'll see how well that goes I'm just really bad about that um, but you really should sign all your work and so I'm gonna try to get better about that so that's one of the things that I have um, in my uh, to-do list and the, the, the happy mail stuff that I want to create um, from from happy mail I've received um, so there's lots of inspiration uh, in these packages as well. Um, and then I got a few other things that I've been toying around with, uh, ideas, um, mixing and matching some things that I've seen on YouTube and other people's videos. Guys, there is so many wonderful artists out there. And so if you don't know, you know, where you're at or where you want to go, or you're just having a, a, a block moment or you know, go
go on YouTube, search around, and you will find something that will get your spark going or get, you know, head, you know, especially if you're new, you know. Use what you have. Just go out there and explore. Nothing fancy. Just put some color down, draw, doodle, whatever it is that you like to do. There's lots of it out on there, YouTube. And, again, I, I don't share with you. Uh, to teach you anything you, you might learn something or you might just be inspired and that's that's all I'm that, I'm okay with that I just I just like sharing with you guys and I just like um, having you guys here so you know really that's that's what it is for me um, but you can definitely uh, find uh, joy in a lot of the different art that's out there on YouTube mixed media world is is quite vast in the different things um, that you can learn and do. So I'm, I'm hoping to play around and toy around with some of the stuff that uh, I've learned and maybe maybe create something new, who knows. Um, what else? Um, yeah, so I think that's it actually. Um, nothing much more I can say. It's kind of been a long video already. It's 26 minutes. Um, so I think I'm gonna uh, sign off on this video and get it uh, where I can upload it to YouTube and get it out there. And uh, Patty Tully Parish will be streaming today. And um, let's see, who else streams today? I think Xandra streams today. So again, go to um, icarrylove.blogspot.com. Um, she has a list of all the streamers. Uh, follow us, you know, come, come say hi. Um, you know, it's free to, to create a username and to, to join in the chats. They're usually a couple hours. You don't have to stay for the whole thing. You can just come and uh, get a little bit of inspiration and just see, you know, what it's like. If it's something you want to uh, participate in and support us. Um, uh, Ustream is free. I think I said that already. Um, what else? That's about it, I think. So um, I'm hoping to also clean up my room, <laughs> my art room, uh, my, so I can maybe do a tour. Um, we'll see. I, I need to get some more shelves and stuff like that and make things look a little nice before I can um, do a video share. So uh, not that they're all that interesting either. I mean, you know, an art room and an art room is art room, right? Uh, or maybe not. Hmm. I am jealous of some of those out there, that nice big art rooms, but um, one day I, I hope to, I, I just bought this house, I think I told you guys a couple months ago, and so I'm hoping next year to to do some nice work in my art room and, and, and build it out stuff, so. All right, guys, well, thank you all for watching, and um, I'll see you next time. Bye, have a great Sunday.